It's a beautiful day, wouldn't you say? Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here with me. I hope that you are all smiling and that you are all happy and in a good place. Oh, there you are. And in a good place. Thought I'd come out to the cemetery. This part of the St. John Cemetery, I've not been to. I've talked to just about everybody here in the area, all around there, all around down there. But I'm gonna start here, and guess what? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna use Ghost Tube Seer here in the cemetery. So I can't wait to see what happens. If you have not subscribed yet to this channel, please feel free to do so. Like, subscribe, and share and become part of the family. It mean a lot to me. So, as I always say, let's see what happens, shall we? Now we have the gravesite here, the headstone for Edna William Mullins. She died September 20th, 1964. Want to leave? I'm sure you do, but if you do, you cannot leave with us. That's Tyson in the back. He's barking. You cannot leave with us. You cannot latch on to us. You cannot enter our minds or our bodies. We're protected by the light and love of God and by the sword of the Archangel Michael. I know you want to leave, so if you want to leave, you can head to the light so you won't be stuck here. I wish I could take you with me, but I can't. There's Joseph John Mullins. He died August 24th, 1958, the year I was born, but not in August. And there's Dorothy Ann Mullins. It says here, she was born July 14th, 1935. Passed away January 21st, or January 2nd, I'm sorry, 1936. She was only a year old. God bless you. We have the Williams family, Mary A and Augustus J. She was born August, or uh, rather, 1865, died in 1943. He was born 1870, died in 1937. You know how to use this device. You cannot uh, use the energy from my heart device, but you can the en energy from this device to say hello and tell me your name. If you wish to speak to me, if you're just passing by me, you can say hi. My name is Jesse. It's nice to be here with you. Nice to let you know that you're not forgotten because you're not. I try to come out here as much as I can, even when I'm not feeling good. There's Timothy, mother, father, John, Jonathan, and Lizzie Margaret. I'm not sure if they have Jonathan. Okay, I guess, is that what they called you, John? Jonathan? John for short? That's interesting. Said Margaret died May 12, 1874. She was two years and one month. Eliza died June 15, 1878. She was eight years, six months. And Timothy died in 18, or uh, excuse me, was born in 1840, died in 1907. And Eliza J was his wife, 1846 to 19, I can't tell if that's 17 or 11. And we have John, 1879, 1899, and Timothy, 1883, 19, 
at their mausoleum, I mean their monolithic looking headstone. I, I don't know what that said, I just missed that and I apologize. So we have over here, again, father, mother, there's Nellie, and there's James. And we've heard from Jonathan. Before I go any further, I want to say thank you to each of you for your well wishes and for your prayers. Why it are means you here? a lot to me. I'm here to talk. I'm here to let you know that you're not forgotten. Some of you probably have not had a visitor in quite a while. Some of your descendants might have not stopped by. So I made it my duty, I guess you would say, to stop by and visit with y'all and talk to you. This one's kind of hard to read. Let you know that you're not forgotten. There's Henry, there's his mother and his father. And I don't know, it says Ellen, 19, oh, 1877 to 1969. Tell how these are all laid out differently. Some of these headstones, like I said, almost fell there. Like I said, we're in some of the uh, older headstone area. Some of the newer ones are way down there on that side. But again, thank you for your prayers. I got word today when I had my heart exam done. I'm still not done with that. I'm not getting the right blood flow in certain parts of my heart. And they're trying to figure out why that is. It's uh, slowed me down in some ways. I find that I get tired easily. But, you know, I thank the good Lord for people like you. And I thank the good Lord that I have someone that loves me and that's by my side and cares if I'm okay. And I thank the good Lord for each and every one of you who have stopped by, become a part of this channel, and who have become part of the channel family. And for those of you who have just newly subscribed, I hope you stay with me on this journey. I hope you also decide to become part Pat. of our family. Hello, Pat. I don't know if I passed a Pat anywhere. I may have. I'm not sure. Again, my name is Jesse. If anybody wants to say anything to me, feel free. But yeah, I'm not getting the right blood flow To my heart, some areas are getting more than the others. And I'm also still trying to figure out, find out about the nerve damage to my left side, mostly my leg. Uh, so I have to wear a brace on my left foot because my foot tries to turn inward when I walk. A lot of this might be due to the fact that I had contacted bacteria in my heart and I didn't know that was happening until they took out the first device that I had in me on my left side. When they took it out, they found bacteria on the leads. I went from 180 pounds of solid muscle because I worked out a lot, believe it or not. And to 100 pounds in less than a week, which landed me in a nursing home. And they said that when I got there that the residents didn't think I was gonna make it 
another day. That was a good thing to hear. <laughs> but hey, here I am. It looks like, I can't tell what that is. Try to clean it off though. The cemetery is a little bit better up kept than the last one that I went to. And that's a good thing. There's my other half's car. We've got our dogs with us, Nala and Tyson. Again, to my new subscribers, welcome. Children. You'll get to know me. Yeah, children. There's children around here, I'm sure. There's children right here. There's Peter. Uh, Mary, that looks like, can't tell what that one is, there's children's names, and probably there's, you know, you're right, there are our children buried here. But like I was saying, you'll get to know me better once you view these videos. I don't do things the uh, way others do. And that's not knocking what others do. But I will let you know I don't go looking for bad things. I don't go looking for evil. If it's there, then I'll deal with it when it shows up. I won't try to conjure up demons or bad things for the sake of views. My soul and everybody else's soul is more important than getting a view and messing with the devil, you know? And if you don't agree, that's your right. But I wouldn't wish harm on anybody. You know, that's something that we're not prepared to deal with when it happens. Because once it happens, and we're not aware that it happened. Disfigured. And we don't know what latched on to us. I'm sorry if you were. That's a terrible thing. My heart goes out to you. But you know, if you don't know what you conjured up, you know, you have no right doing it. I'm not telling you what to believe in or what to watch or stuff like that. That's all on you. But like I said, you'll find that my channel's different. I approach things differently. Sometimes I talk, sometimes I ramble about nothing, but I am who I am. And you've become a part of my family. Hello. And I thank you for doing that. Hello. How are you? I'm Jesse, who are you? Thank you for saying hello. I'm gonna head down here and I'm gonna try Ghost Tube C or and see what I uh, come up with. Again, I've not been to this part of the cemetery. Rock of Ages cleft for me. Rock of Ages cleft for me. Matthew Hogan died March 29th, 1888. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Joanna E. Hayes died 1936. Margaret G. Hogan, 1930. Mother, father, look at that headstone. There's Margaret's headstone over there. Look at that carving. Can't really tell either who this belongs to, but I noticed that right away. I can hear you. 
Can you? I, I can I can hear you, but I can't see you. If you're nearby, you can say hello and tell me your name. That would be really nice. It's Gerald Casey, Frederica Casey, 1899-1993. 1901, 1988. Let's switch over to Ghost Tube. Using Ghost Tube Seer here at the cemetery and see what kind of images that we get here. See what they produce. Be interesting to know what happens. Looks something like um, a church window. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, I forgot what they call them. The kind of glass you see in a church, stained glass. That's interesting. The first thing that came up. I don't know what they're trying to say. But maybe they'll generate something else. You can use this device to show me what you remember or if you want to show me who you are, what you look like, something that you remember from your past, I would appreciate that. I thank you for showing me that first image. I hope that you know I'm not here to cause you any harm or disrespect. I'm just trying to get to know you and get to know who you are. Again, my name is Jesse. I thank you for that first image you showed. If you'd like, you can show me another. For those of you that know me, know that I've tried Ghost to see her before at the cemetery and I couldn't get it to work and I found out the reason why. I was highly embarrassed by it, but now that I'm able to, I'll try to use it as much as I can when I go out to different areas, different locations and different cemeteries. To give them a chance to generate an image of whatever they wish to reveal of themselves, whatever they're thinking about what they remember. This device will not harm you. It will not hurt you. You can use the energy from this device to formulate a picture, an image of a thought a memory, anything you wish. You cannot use the device energy that's in my heart. But I welcome you to try it again. That was an interesting picture though. It did look like a church cathedral window glass stained glass that's what i was thinking about i'll give it a few more minutes before i stop hopefully they'll create another image if not i'm thankful for that one ghost tube seer and the new additional uh feature that goes along with that is the ghost tube lens l-e-n-s you can Find out about that in the download description. Uh, it's in the down. It's in the 
it's in the description below where you can go and download those four apps and I'm sure you'll see ghost tube lens there also what that is it's uh, a device that holds your phone to use ghost tube uh, seer with hands free I'll also put a link to the video that just explains how all that comes to be and how it works from the creators Amy and Jared Jared and Amy of Amy script you'll like it I use all four apps they don't pay me to say that I do it because I like sharing good news and good things a lot of people don't like apps on the go but hey they've worked for me a lot of relevant things have come from ghost tube ghost tube box ghost tube sls hello it's a little boy there i don't know what that is behind his head that's trying to form but he's standing right there looking at me facing me I don't know if that is supposed to be representative of behind him but it is interesting thank you I don't know who you were if you were someone who died at a young age I'm sorry to hear that but I bet it's real beautiful where you're at now can fly around with your wings and sing beautiful songs and be in a happy environment for all eternity thank you for showing yourself to me I appreciate it I was gonna leave but I'll go ahead and wait a few more minutes to see what happens that's one good thing I like about this because it's you know not something that's forced They want to create an image, a reflection of their past, a memory, or even what they look like, just like you saw a while ago. And again, I cannot express my thanks enough to each and every one of you that have wished me well and to all of you who have subscribed and have taken the time to comment, have taken the time to spend with me on this journey because it's become our journey now and you're part of the channel family. For those of you that have subscribed recently, I hope you stay with us. I hope you find peace in some of the things that you see and find comfort I don't claim to have the power to be able to talk to those that have just passed away. I will not ever say that I do because I don't. It's up to them if they want to talk. I don't try to add anything and add to the narrative. If what happens is not relevant to what I'm asking or what I'm doing, I will not say it's relevant. I'll never add or take away anything from here. You'll see it just as it is. Because that's just how I am. Just one more minute. And again, I thank my other half for bringing me to these places. I know she worries about me. If she didn't care, she wouldn't. And I know a lot of you worry as well. If you didn't, you wouldn't tell me that you were sending me prayers or anything. And again, I thank you. It means a lot to me.
All right, well, so far we only got two images, and that's okay. Like I said, it's something that you just can't force. If they want to show up, they want to do something, they will. Same way with talking. If they want to talk, they will. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to add anything and make it look like I had a wonderful conversation because, like I said, how you see it on here is how it happens. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. I'm wondering if that is relevant. It's the time period for the area that I'm in. 1934, 1927, uh, 1895, 1906, 1988, 1901. That looks to be about right. I see four people there. Thank you for that image. I appreciate you. Well, there you go. There it is. That's what happens with the, oh, there you are. That's what happens with the ghost tube seer. I'm glad that it worked. I'm glad I got to share it with you. And again, I'm glad that you chose to subscribe to this channel, to all my new subscribers. Thank you highly. Thank you very much. Don't forget, let those that you love know you love them when you're heading out the door. Why? You know, you might not ever have that chance again. Take care, everybody.